Chinese medical officials say they are investigating the scientist who claims to have created the world's first genetically edited babies. Hung Jian Kuei says the twin sisters were born with the immunity to HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Now, he claims he altered their DNA in a lab using a gene editing technique called CRISPR. Dr. Tara Narula shows us why other scientists find this very alarming. Tara, good morning. Good the morning, medical yeah. and scientific community are very upset about this. They are outraged. You understand it. Why? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I think this was really done in a totally unethical way. Mm -hmm. Ethical way. The controversial research was roundly condemned because it was shrouded in secrecy and broke with international scientific norms. But Ha Jian Kui says his breakthrough can protect children from a dangerous and deadly disease and that he's on the right side of history. The technology to genetically edit human embryos has been around for a while, but scientists were unwilling to cross that ethical line until now. I believe family need this technology. And I am willing to take the criticism for them. He Jian Kui, a Stanford and Rice University trained physicist, says he used the technique CRISPR to help a married Chinese couple conceive twins immune to HIV. When the girls were still embryos, he used chemical scissors to turn off a gene that makes people vulnerable to HIV infection. The embryos were then implanted into the mother, and Lulu and Nana were born earlier this month. No gene was changed except the one to prevent HIV infection. The girls are safe, healthy as any other babies. China's National Health Commission ordered an investigation into He's work, which defied a global scientific consensus banning the use of genetic editing on human embryos. He's university in China, where he was on unpaid leave, said it was deeply shocked by his research, which it believes seriously violated academic ethics and codes of conduct. I think this was irresponsible. Kiran Musunuru, an associate professor of medicine at the University of Pennsylvania, believes this was an attempt to engineer genetically modified human beings. No question that that is unethical. I would actually add immoral to that. Musunuru reviewed some of He's scientific data and says he believes the genetic edits on the embryos were incomplete, meaning the girls may not be totally immune to HIV. Musunuru also says there's evidence other genes were edited unintentionally, potentially increasing the twins' risk for cancer. Taking those embryos forward through pregnancy to live children, to me, is absolutely appalling and horrifying. I can't imagine why anyone with any sort of compassion would actually do that. Ho will formally present his findings Wednesday at a scientific conference in Hong Kong. Rice University said the work described violates conduct guidelines of the scientific community and launched an ethics investigation into Michael Deem, a bioengineering professor who's part of Ho's research team. So are there rules to stop other scientists from doing this? There's nothing, and that's really what's horrifying. The United States and Europe have rules that really say this cannot be done, this type of experimentation in embryos, but China and other nations don't. And this has really prompted an outcry, as you said, from the scientific community, calling this genetic Russian roulette unconscionable, immoral, and you're really changing not just the genetic code of these children, but the genetic code of their children's children and their children's children. So it's passed along. It is yeah. passed along. And what's, what's so crazy is that this was presented on YouTube in a series of videos where he says healthy babies were born. We don't know if they're healthy babies. We don't know if they will turn out to develop cancer, if they will have uh, problems with other infections like West Nile virus or influenza or other mutations. So this is really Why would parents a agree Pandora's then, box. Kara? Why would parents agree well, to do this? We don't really know what oh. they consented to. The okay. consent form said HIV vaccine trial. Mm. So it's unclear what was really explained to them, if they really understood the full consequences of what was being done. That's amazing. One person making a decision to affect One person yeah. changing the genetic code of the human race. For generations. For generations. Tara, thank you.